joy that will be a sense of relief for Kolkata to say the least. A huge relief. A huge relief. This was a match they would have, should have won, won in a canter. They got into trouble early and you know again this top order has not fired for them. But Morgan getting runs is such big news for them because he's a captain who leads by example. It was important that he got runs. And I dare say if you compare Shubman or Nitish Rana getting runs to Morgan getting runs, Kolkata would take Morgan getting runs and delivering for them today. I think it's a big, big win for them. And uh, this opens up a lot of things. Also, what it does open up is what are the other remaining games in Ahmedabad going to look like? Because that's something we need to think about very seriously. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a talking point. We will probably discuss it in a few minutes' time. But I think just to stay with Captain Morgan, uh, for me, we, we sort of said, wouldn't it be nice if he got a nice 30 not out? Because of the wickets that fell, that needed to be closer to a 50 not out. And that's what he got. Yeah, and, and I think I answered you and said he'd be quite happy if, you know, they got the runs up at the front and that opening pair would sort of go well and he didn't have to bat. It wasn't to be. He played well. I think he played well because the situation was a pressure one. A side that struggling loses early wickets in a low chase. Those jitters come in once again and somebody has to go in and sort them out. And he's experienced, yes, but things can go wrong. Run out here. Um, you, you, you're not in good form yourself. It can go wrong. It didn't today. And as Joy says, those runs are very important to Kolkata Knight Riders and, and to Owen Morgan. But just as a group, if their leader is able to stand there and they don't look and say, well, when's he going to score some runs? And he can, you know, be a leader in form and trying to lead from the front. Then the words, not that they don't mean anything or they mean less when he hasn't got runs, but they mean so much more when he does have runs. They mean so much more when, you know, your skipper's scoring runs and all the guys have to do is really just follow. So it's important that this lifts them off the bottom, but it also kick-starts their season and they can go on a bit of a roll. Yeah, a few matches ago, Joy, we were... Uh, perhaps being a little unkind, little harsh, I think is the right word. But it was really warranted to have a discussion because Morgan is the captain. If he's not delivering, he's also taking up one of those four overseas slots. So it, it, it's another box that he ticks there saying, listen, my place in the team is assured, no matter how class a player he might be. It's important. It's important to get runs. And, you know, there are many captains who can go four, five, three, four, five innings without getting runs. But at some point in time, even the most self-assured captain has a doubt in his mind. And uh, you've seen, I've seen a lot of Indian captains like that. When they're batting, when they are in form, they're better leaders. Because that's one pressure that's off their mind. And that's literally what it is. One pressure off your mind. If you can put away your business of personal form and say, that's not a worry any longer. That's more mind space for your captain. And what you really need your captain is to have the maximum mind space just thinking about it. Yeah, and also mm. let's. And you, you, how often do you hear? How often do you hear um, captains and former captains and current captains saying they've got to separate, you know, the player, the batsman, and the captain? The two jobs are different. And whilst that is true, it's easier to do the separating when you're doing well because you park it when you're not batting and you go get on with the job of captaining the side out in the field. But when you're not batting well, you're not getting runs and performances have been poor, then there's no way it's not in your mind. Every time you turn up to the field, you're thinking, well, I need to be the one to do something. I need to be the one to sort of sort myself out. And they might even be kind of, and that time that's taken then kind of encroaches on the time that you'd be thinking solely on leading whilst out in the field because there's a worry about form, about performance.